Hey there, church family. This is Pastor Jay with the weekly update. Today is January 11th. We are in our second full week of 2022. I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you uh, are, are like my family and getting over the COVID stuff, I pray that you don't get it. I pray that you stay safe and, and do things like that. Again, at, here at church, we're going to do our very best to make sure that if you feel like you need to wear a mask, definitely wear a mask. That's definitely something we want to give you the opportunity to do and know that we're not saying you can't do that. Uh, we're also going to, um, you know, encourage you in our pew sitting and things like that to be social distance. And, uh, you know, the whole process of this is just being wise and not do things that are dumb. And I think that it's important for us to do that. And we're going to continue to do those things here at the church as best as we can. I realize that some of you are like, you know what, that's still not enough. Worship with us at home. That's fine. We have those options of life groups via Zoom and we have worship on the YouTube channel. Definitely want to give you those options, but know that we're doing our best to try to, to, to clean the building and make sure we're sanitized and encouraging people to uh, do what they need to do and be uh, responsible in that on themselves. Uh, guys, um, with that being said, tomorrow night we are having our Wednesday nights back. Uh, we have the opportunity to kick everything back off for the first Wednesday night for us for this year uh, with our Bible studies, with the worship team, with uh, Awana, with the student ministry. Just a great opportunity for us to get that going. It's Chick-fil-A night. So again, uh, exciting time here at the church tomorrow night. If you're planning on being here, look forward to seeing you. If not, uh, maybe there's the 19th. Come on that one and come back and be a part of what we're doing uh, when you can do that. Guys, in the coming Sundays, we have uh, the next two Sundays, we have some activities I want to make sure you know about and are aware of. The first one is right after the worship service this coming Sunday uh, in the Commons area, we're going to be having an interest meeting for those wanting to go and find out interest about going uh, to Phoenix this summer on a mission trip. Uh, we'll be giving out times and dates and information just to see if you're wanting to go. And so it's not a commitment thing. It's not going to be a long meeting. It's going to be about giving out information, giving you some details so that you can make the decision through prayer, through uh, talking with your friends and family about do you want to go together, uh, things like that. And, um, and then uh, we'll be done with that. And so, again, interest meeting this Sunday right after the worship service in the Commons area. And then the following Sunday... We have our committee rallies. This is an opportunity for all our 2022 committees to come together and meet and kind of just also kick the year off and get things moving in the direction that we need to, to, to continue to make Shady Oaks great in 2022. Uh, with that being said, guys, this, this past Sunday, I gave, uh, I think, uh, one of the more important messages that I've given here in this church. I think it's an opportunity to really think about why we do what we do, that it shapes our behavior and creates a culture here. And guys, uh, there is a great culture of friendship and relationship here, but I, I want to take and encourage all of us to make that about a biblical basis, about spurring one another on in Christian love. And I think in doing so, we need to spend some time thinking about how can we, as individuals and with our life groups and others, begin talking about how can we connect generations? How can we be better at that so that our olders and our younger ones all know together uh, to be able to come together and, uh, and, and be in relationship and have connection, to, to pour into the greatness of all the different age groups of this church. Also, to strengthen relationships. And I think that the core of that is discipleship, guys. I think you've heard me talk about that. I think discipleship is one of the most critical things that churches aren't doing very well today. And I want to help Shady Oaks do that well. I don't think that I'm the guru and have figured everything out about discipleship, but I have a plan and a process for us as a church to walk in, and I want you to be a part of it. And yes, it is about a year's worth of time together, but I want to encourage you to know that uh, it's worth it. Because the Great Commission says, go and make disciples of all nations. How are you going to do that if you don't have a plan, you don't have a process? Well, I want to help you with that and get you involved so that you can be making disciples for the rest of your life. Whether that's the next 85 years or whether that's the next 18 minutes, I don't care. I want you to be able to be able to, to minister and to make disciples. And we want to, our church to be a place where people come uh, to be uh discipled and then be able to challenge to go and multiply that discipleship out beyond along these walls and 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 guys I, if you want more information please feel free to reach out to me via email jfannon at shadyoaks.org is my email address please let me know and i'll try to get you connected with some people who have already gone through it or let you know how that process can work for you what it could look like and so there are options but guys i want you to know that guys also there's an important thing about working together as one of our core values the idea that uh 
we need to have better conversations. And so I want to encourage all of us to begin having some conversations. So in the next couple of weeks, we're going to have a time where you get a chance to maybe write down some questions, concerns, great things, whatever the case may be, uh, and provide those to us. And then we'll have a meeting back maybe in February sometime where we sit down and we talk through these things to make sure that we're having some collaborative conversations to better work together in doing so. And then guys, when we connect in our generations, when we strengthen our relationships, when we work together, I think the transforming communities part is just gonna happen because we're prepared, we're ready, we're ready to welcome in the community. We're also ready to care about what's going on in the community to be a part of that. And so guys, I think we have a great potential to make these core values truly the behavior of this church, creating a culture in this church that I think has attractional value, but I also think it has tremendous spiritual growth value for each and every one of us. And so I hope you're wanting to be a part of those things. I hope you realize that it's your church, your responsibility, but also we're going to do a lot of things collectively in there. And so I'm not saying it's all on you. What I'm saying is start with you, add some more people, and we'll do our part from the staff and, and encouraging and having those conversations around and see what the Lord does in our church this year. Looking forward to what the Lord has in store, looking forward to you being excited about what the Lord is doing here. And I hope that you are, and I hope that you're ready to be part of the discipleship process. Again, love you guys. Have a great, great day, and we'll see you on Wednesday or Sunday.